this is John Bentley with the Clear Lake and Galveston County Tea Parties. I'm here visiting with Linda Vega at the uh, Tarrant County Convention Center in Fort Worth, Texas at the Republican State Convention. As you may remember, Linda was a candidate for United States Senator and ran against John Cornyn. Linda, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. When did you get here? Uh, we got here Wednesday, Wednesday right. afternoon. It's going to be a long week. Oh, it's been a great week. We've been very busy having delegates stop by, having you know a lot of people sign our um, email list. It's Is been this fantastic. Your first uh, state conference? No, it's not. Okay. Where but it's are you a, from? I'm originally from the Rio Grande Valley near uh, Mercedes. I'm currently living in Sugarland, Texas. Well, that's just right down the road from Clear yes, Lake it and, is. and uh, Galveston County. I visit you all often. Yeah, in fact, we have a lot of really close friends in, in the tea parties over in, in uh, Alvin and Sugarland yes. and Pearland. Uh -huh. And uh, there's going to be a lot of them here. Yes, a yeah, lot of We're really looking forward to this. Uh, have you had an opportunity to visit with some of the other folks around? Uh, we have. We stopped in and visited uh, with Glenn Hager's booth. We visited with um, Greg Abbott's booth. Earlier, Rafael Cruz was here taking pictures with us. So okay. it's been a Tell me, uh, what is your purpose on being here for this, this week? I mean, I'm sure you all have some things you want to accomplish. What would they be? Oh, absolutely. We are talking about positive conservatism, and we are talking about how our run set a record for getting more Latinos to vote on the Republican side than ever before. And we want to take that number and transfer it over to other candidates who are running for office now and to tell people to start engaging in the community to talk about positive conservatism, values that attract people to the Republican Party. All right, I recently visited with you at a program that you were a part of down in uh, the Galveston area, is that correct? Yes. And what was that program, do you remember? Uh, the program with the... Yeah, we just talked about it. A few oh, we ago. did a forum. We were talking about uh, immigration reform, I believe it was. Right, and I believe that was pretty well attended, wasn't it? It was, yes. That's good. And That's we good. informed the community about what it is that we really want to talk about on immigration in Texas and what's good for our economy and our population. Okay. Are you uh, you're familiar with the Texas solution that everybody's talking about? Yes, I am. Uh, it seems to be on the tip of everybody's tongue. Absolutely. Do you have some thoughts about that? Well, you know, earlier I did speak to people who were drafting it and, and have written on it, and I asked them what was different from last time that the Texas solution was offered, and they revamped the whole thing to include a lot of fines, a lot of uh, visas that were not uh, leading to citizenship and were temporary. And so it's changed from what it was before. Uh, I noticed that it had changed. And yes. I think it's a lot better now. It is a lot better. I still think we have a ways to go. Do you agree with that or disagree? Well, you know, I think it's a, it's a solution that we have to find. And I don't think it's an issue that we want to put out there with the Democrats being so visible right now. And I think we need as a party to come together, unite, and show the Democrats that we can resolve our conflicts if we work together. Linda, I really want to thank you for your time. Thank I'm you. glad you're here. Thank you. It's, uh, I hope we're all going to have a really good time and get some great things accomplished. I think we will. Appreciate your thank time. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye.